You know your phone can do this. Now let me show you how you can set this on your phone. So all you need to do to get this going on your Android phone is to go to your Galaxy store, not your Play store. Once you get to your Galaxy store, type and search for micro gesture. Micro gesture and search for micro gesture. Download this particular app. I have already downloaded it on my phone. Once you download it, all you need to do is just go to the app. Micro gesture, here is the app. Click on it, and once you click on it, you need to come here over here. Micro gesture basics allow. Okay, go to setting and allow it in setting. Okay, and do all the necessary setup over here. You guys can see protect by X axis, any angle sensitivity zero. Click on it. Okay, you can do some minor setting here direction, positive or negative, repetition. You can do single or double. Okay, if you want to just do only once and whatever that thing will happen, okay? So you go all through here, then sensitivity, you lower the sensitivity, smaller is more sensitive, okay? If you want it to be responsive, you have to drag this down here. If you want it to be slow, you have to take this up here, but I always like taking it down so that whenever I shake or do anything, it's going to, you know, do however I set it. So once you get all these things done, okay, once you download the app and do all the setting in your phone, you are good to go. Anyhow you fling your phone, you turn it by the left, if you switch it like this, if you do it like this, anyhow you do it, your phone will respond to whatever thing that you do. So once you download and set up the micro gesture app, okay, you can set it the way you want. You can decide to open your recently recent messages by going left, flinging your distant left, and it will show you all the recent uh, messages. You can decide to open the apps running on your background by flinging it right, you know, flinging it right, it will open. And if you fling it left, it will bring anyone in front. If you fling it right again, it will bring up the next one. If you fling it left, it will bring it in front. So you can, you can use it to increase your volume, you can use it to open your camera, you can use it to, instead of going next, 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 and if you're playing music, instead of going next or previous or whatever, you can use the motion gesture to do that. If you fling your phone, depending on how you set it to be, it will go to the next song. If you fling it the other side, it will go to the previous song. Just like, you can use it to increase your volume, decrease your volume, and do so many things in your phone. So if this video was helpful, make sure you like and make sure you follow for more tips like this.